All right, Shelton, you have invented the Aeon power bag. Now, right now, it's it's an idea, but you know exactly how it's how it's going to come to fruition. Tell me about the concept behind it. Okay, straight to the point. And this is how I normally explain it. You've got all these signals around you, your Wi-Fi signal, 3G, LTE, and so forth. So you need an electronic uh, system to capture those signals mm -hmm. and convert them into energy instead of communication. Okay, so we're talking about the Aeon Power Bag, and that's essentially a bag that you can put your mobile devices in, um, smartphones, laptops, and using those Wi-Fi signals, you can charge them. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, explain that in simpler terms for me because we're not all uh, nuclear physicists. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. In a nutshell, we, we, we made the system so simple that the user only needs a USB. Okay. Because for now, we can't make it complex because you get, you get questions, how does this work, how does that work? Mm -hmm. So you, you get your USB, that's, that comes standard with your, your smartphone. Mm -hmm. So there's a compatible USB port within the back where you connect to the electronics. So that's how it charges. So you've got this source here, you've got the electronics, then you've got your mobile phone or tablet connected via a, your USB mm -hmm. to the system. So basically that's that. Is this technology being used anywhere else in the world? So far the technology is in development. Mm -hmm. There are many research companies that are working on it, but we don't have that concrete solution uh, in, the, in the market as yet. Okay, what do you need to bring this technology to South Africa so that we can all be carrying around our own portable, portable charging devices? Okay, on the value chain, we're still um, on the prototyping mm -hmm. scale, uh, prototyping stage, I mean. So we'll be done with that within the coming two months. Then the next stage is uh, the industrialization of the, the product itself. By industrialization, I mean you must have a, a product that people can buy off the shelf. So there's certain value that is added in that uh, through your machinery, tooling, and your mass production processes. Mm. So for now, we're gonna need funding for that after we are done with the pre-samples and testing of the, the whole product. Now you've raised already about a million rand, you said. How much more do you need to, to uh, bring the product to market? Okay, for the next step that I just explained, now we're gonna need about 950K just to have that process sorted. Okay, now I actually want to delve a little bit into your science background. How, how did you become interested in science and technology? <laughs> I, I wish I had a short answer, but what really happened when I grew up, my granddad was a mechanic, was an electro electronics person, welder, you can name them. So that guy was a handyman. So I stayed with him for almost 15 years, so that's where I've learned all these things. But uh, the most important thing for me was, why, why, why does this thing work like this? Why this, why that, why that? So that's when I, I developed interest in computers, electronic things, physics, how planets work and biology and all those things. So that's where all these things come from. Do you think young South Africans need an extra push to be inspired to in in the in science and technology uh, subjects? I get that a lot. I mean, as a developing country, we've been a developing country for some time, by the way. As a developing country, we need all these skills. So, one of the challenge, one of the most challenges we have about math, science, and engineering, it's firstly it's difficult. Mm. So we must find a way we must find a way to express it in more fun and enjoyable way. In a, in, like you should give examples, not go to the concept directly. You should, when you, for example, when you're teaching about aerodynamics, you must maybe ask kids, uh, what do you think about when an aero, aeroplane takes off? Things like that. Like practical examples. Then after you explain all that, then you show, okay, fine. This is the maths involved, this is the physics. This is the solution. I think that's the, the relevant way or the, I mean the good way of, of doing it. Do you think a lot of students are intimidated when they hear math and science and technology? Are those intimidating subjects? Yeah, definitely they are because of our history, obviously. Mm -hmm. So we, we have to work with the, the mentality. I think it's, it's a matter of uh, the mindset itself. So if we can fix the mindset 
of how these young people think about this subject. I think we're going to be good in the near future. Thank you very much. I look forward to seeing your, your charging bag on the shelves. I'm going to buy the first one, okay? Okay, thanks. Thanks a lot.